Hello everyone, today we are gonna continue our playthrough of the Age of Empires 4 campaign without making gold units and we've already done the Normans, the Hundred Years War and the Rise of Moscow Today we're gonna do the Mongol Empire which is probably gonna be the hardest one of, of the of the four um, but I think we can do it So, well the first one is gonna be a bit of a, a mission without base building so that's just going to be standard vanilla difficulty level. Uh, of course, I'm playing on hard difficulty. Um, otherwise, obviously too easy. Um, but like even so, with the restriction of not making building, this doesn't make the game that much harder. They're just like moderately harder. Um, but as we're going to see, like some some of the missions are a bit uh, problematic. Uh, or like, like a little bit harder here without gold units, but I think we should be able to do it, do all of them, but without like too much difficulty. Okay, so we've got Super big battle here. Warriors to split up and lie in wait for the enemy. Okay, what do we have here? These are all horsemen, and these are av archers or like mango die. Okay, we're supposed to split them up. Okay. And this is just like a little bit of a micro mission. It's not not too hard. I think uh, if if I'm able to to do this without too much difficulty, we might. Uh, in some future streams, try to play the the game with only making like one type of uh, of uh, trash units, like maybe like only spearmen, like only horsemen, something like that. For Subutai's strategy to be effective, he needed to spring his trap before the Rus recovered from their long pursuit. Okay, we're gonna use some units to lure them across the river. These highly skilled warriors could fire their bows rapidly while riding at speed. Yeah. So we can take these guys out very easily. We also have the attack speed arrow and the moon speed arrow. That's just like all. I'm gonna take these out fairly well. We want to kill as many of these um, these spearmen as we can before we engage with our melee units, because obviously the spearmen are gonna be really strong against our horsemen. But as long as we just keep kiting here. There's not much problem. And yeah. We'll just leave them around here. We'll take a few hits here and there, but it's not too bad. And obviously the idea here is that we want to take out the spearmen with the mango diamond and then the archers are going to be quite weak against uh, all of our um, horsemen. Okay. I think we just directly engage in you know. a. Oh, we don't, maybe. Yeah, just like engage like a little bit here. And take those out. Oh, um, okay, this is not supposed to happen. Oh, yeah, I have more than one control, but that's not good. Not good, obviously. And I can take out some more of these demon here. Honestly, the whole tactic stuff, I'm like, oh, you need to hide in the stealth person, so it's, it's all nonsense, it doesn't really matter. 
It's just a matter of like kiting out these spearmen with the mango die. And okay, most of the spearmen are gone. Maybe charge a little bit in here. And hopefully this is good enough. Could we focus some of these spearmen down. Do we have a bonus damage against the uh, spears? No, down two of these. To engage with some of these archers. Especially the horsemen. Uh, is this good enough? Like a matter of like how, how long it's gonna take to wrap around here a bit. And yeah, this is good enough. These are also only regular archers, not even hardened archers. Okay, these are also early lances and um not hardened. What are they called? The uh, veteran. And this is like all feudal units basically. Yeah. I forgot that, that in the campaign you have uh, the early lances um, with the Mongols. I don't see any desperate stragglers. The last Rus encircled themselves in a makeshift fort of baggage cars. Oh, they're over there. Okay. This is just kind of like an introductory mission. It's kind of cool how the how these two campaigns connect, like the um, Mongol campaign and the Rus campaign. As the other ones are a little bit disconnected. There's like a little bit of, of, of connection between like the English and French campaign. Not as much as here. Um, let's just do this. A little bit more kiting. Then at some point you charge. How much bonus damage could these do here? Only only eight. They do a lot more bonus damage in, in the real game. Actually it's hard to focus fire here. Okay, we can Cut these off. What range does this guy have? Seven and a half tiles. Okay. Keep kiting here. Weirdly, it's a fun because I'm a person from Mongolia. Okay, interesting. Definitely very overpowered Civ here in this game. And like the version of the of Mongols you play in the campaign is even stronger than in multiplayer. So we have the early lances available. Join the multiplayer. That's basically knights. And there we go. Destroyed the Rus army. Stockade fell. Despite a valiant last stand, the remnants of the Rus army were cut down. Yeah, cut down. And now we get a real mission. On the banks of 
Genghis Khan's bid to expand his empire had brought him to the Great Wall of China, but in his path to the wall stood the mighty Jin fortress of Shangjiaku. If that's how you pronounce it. Probably not. One thing that's a bit weird about um, the Mongol campaign is that it sort of jumps back and forth in time. It's not linear. I'm not sure exactly why they did that. Maybe for like... Maybe they just thought, thought that this would sort of make more sense in, in gameplay terms. Like for example, the mission that we just played is, is a lot further along, I think. No, actually, it's so sort of the, the it's actually the earliest mission in terms of uh, the chronology. Of okay. Mongol warfare relied heavily on the mobility of mounted scouts. So in this mission, first we do this control a few scouts, start the path through here, and then we need to descend on this Chinese base here and destroy it. Discovering a hidden path above the Qin Fortress. Mm. Oh, we're just walking past here. I think there's some units here at some point. The Qin had deployed patrols on the mountain above their fortress. Hide from them. But the Mongol scouts, although isolated from their army, had the advantage of speed. Okay. Also better vision range. And here is our attack route. The Mongol riders discovered in the get some units. leading to the back of the fortress. Here they found far fewer or some workers fences than at the front. Learning of the weak defenses at the back of the fortress, Genghis Khan saw his opportunity to attack. The Mongols began their ride to battle. If the Mongols took the fortress, they could freely advance on the Great Wall. Oh, they're being attacked by wolves here. What do you think about Genghis Khan? Um, well, he was a great conqueror, obviously, uh, uh, as well as obviously a very brutal and uh, and vicious person. Who I don't know how many. Um, Hundreds of thousands of people in some way were killed by him. This is a lot of height of wolf here, okay. I mean, it's kind of obvious that the problem with these kinds of games is that they tend to um, glorify some of the, the some of the worst people that ever lived, basically, because because you know conquest is kind of fun. And re realistically depicting the suffering of uh, you know all the people killed in these wars would not be fun. I'm just let to keep going into life here. The Mongols burned the enemy building. Claiming valuable spoils from the ruins.
I'm looking for some of these archers in the back. Oh, there's a fortress here as well. I do not lose too many of these guys so that I can actually have enough units left to kill this keep. And it's kind of annoying how they keep focusing on the regular units. Also, um, nice how this Zhang Zhao keep uh, text here. Obscures the HP bar of this thing. Um, yeah, time is it Mongolia has. Um, yeah, definitely. It you know, was was once uh, one of the largest empires in history. Is now just a you know, fairly insignificant country. I mean, you have enough units to take this down. Uh, it should be fine. It's burning now. Let me just let's just uh, let it burn down a little bit here. Actually, I'm losing so many units. Stupid Chinese keep. Oh, I should have used my scout as well. Can we do the whole animation casting thing here in this uh, campaign? Looks like it. We don't do this. Yeah, they are much far, much slower. Yeah, they were kind of kings and emperors. Okay, keep us now, now down as well. The Mongols sacked the fortress of Shang Jaku, ensuring that they would not be attacked from behind as they advanced on the great. Or was it the Yuan dynasty? Uh, the the is the Mongol the dynasty in, in China. No threat, Genghis Khan called on his people to bring in Okay, we got Next, some stuff. The Mongols needed a base close to the Great Wall. They targeted the Qin village of Yang Chang. Come here and speed this up. How many girls do I have? It's content and girl, pasture. We really have one girl here. Um, I'm gonna just like start popping some wood here with these. Okay, let's move faster. Uh, there's nothing really up there. Oh, that's like what kit will both pick up. And send like a scout there. Get up. Okay, where did we put our TC? Maybe here, so we have some gold as well. Oh, need to destroy this first. Maybe we'll put it uh, next to the... Let's put it here. Don't use stealth for it though. I'll put it like this. Um, do this. Oh, can you actually take this uh, farm? Uh, make an ooh. Um, what is this? These are pastures. We can put here as well. The uwu. And we'll have our sheep down there. I 
Fun fact, Genghis Khan never took goods from occupied lands, just left it. What? He did? What do you mean just left it? Oh, we can't actually take the farm. Um, okay, we need to go up to second age. Which one do we want? Soul tree, deer stones. Deer stones is best. And some upgrades. Yeah, we'll get. Like the blueberry thing here. Um, well, let's also put down a guy here to make some economic upgrades. Uh, there's a lot of stone there. Got the one has strength thing going. Okay, what? I don't know. Oh, there's more houses here that I can destroy. Okay, um, I think I want this upgrade. That was too expensive. I also got a barracks. We'll make some stuff. Hearing of the Mongol advance, nearby Chin villages began sending attacks, hoping to weaken. This is pronounced Genghis or Genghis. Um, both are okay in English. I believe Genghis is closer to the uh, original pronunciation. Um, just put this in one hotkey. This in one hotkey and this in one. Um, oh, we should put some more on these. And other upgrades. It's free ledge for that. Okay, we got the deer stones. Let's buff our economy nicely. Oh, we're being attacked. I've used my arrow there. Fine, anyway. Garrison everything. I mean, they were originally nomadic people, but then they settled down. And I mean, they they ruled the the Chinese Empire as the Yuan Dynasty. You don't. Control one of the, at this point probably the the biggest uh, or the most powerful empire in the world, um, as a nomad. Villages here and our stone instead on archers. I want many, many archers. Oh, another attack here.
Oh, there's still like a, another mil a million people that are from Mongolia that still live, live as nomads? I didn't know that. Interesting. Um, make another TC. TC here. And... Make one here. Why not? And we'll also make this for the for the yam. Uh, pack this up. And some, some stone and arches. Um, we can also get some of these improved upgrades. Actually, I forgot that. No, we, let's not make all these uh, double arches here. Let's make regular arches. I forgot that you can actually get uh, double military upgrades in this uh, campaign as well. So we'll do that. What? Uh, no, it's just whatever. Uh, this what I wanted. This okay. Like blacksmith here. Oops. Ready like this and like this and like this. Okay, and now we'll make a whole bunch of spearmen. Not close enough to the Ubu. Okay, we'll just uh, pack this. Oh my God, pack this up. Fiddly. Wait, where's the other blacksmith? Oh, it's already there. Okay. Do I even need spearmen? Or am I better with horsemen? I'll make spearmen. Make spearmen. I'm aware of this idea, this idea that uh, many people in, in Mongolia regard uh, Genghis Khan as kind of like a national hero, but this idea that he was some sort of like humanitarian or something is uh, pretty far fetched. Let's get this up. This upgrades. Got this. We we'll get this. No, we don't need this anyway. And just get the regular siege engineering. Can we can make an arsenal here. No, we can't. I'll we'll probably need a few more barracks. Let's take 
Uh, how many workers do we have? No, we need a few more. Oh, this is good. Get all the economic upgrades as well. The military ones are the most important. Um, let's go get this and we get this. It's not that important. And this, okay. Okay. Oh, where did these come from? We can't get archer upgrades here, but also they can't get upgrades against the archers, so it kind of balances out. Also have two control groups, that's gonna be good enough. And I think I will also want a few passages here. It only costs a hundred wood here in this um, campaign. Yeah, I should probably um, make a separate uh, video for that game I played against Scrubby. Not like my best game or anything, but you know, it's kind of cool to play against Scrubby. He's someone I can really look up to and uh, been a fan of his for a long time. No, though, of course, he. It wasn't like like a hugely uh, one-sided game either. He was like in control the entire time, but I I I had like I think some chances with my hogs. Just wasn't quite able to do enough damage. Okay. Um. Ooh, this is something here in this building, okay. Uh, make another one here. Wouldn't just spread these outposts around so we get um, plenty of, of vision here, as well as uh, the YAM network. You deck destroy buildings, okay. Um, probably gonna wait and destroying these until I've got the upgrade. Um, can I get any more upgrades? No, I can't. Might as well just drive this away somewhere. Kind of silly how they can fit so many villages at such a tight spot. Okay. We don't need any gold. Um, 72 economy is probably enough for a campaign mission. I can make a few more. Is going to be a bit wasteful. Okay. 
Oh, can I pull it here? Alright, why not? Get another outpost. What should we get now for one of these guys? Okay, 150 for all, all resources. That's quite a bit. By destroying the Chin village, the Mongols had we'll also get some arrow slits here. Garrison. Ooh, it's also nice upgrades. Why not? Back to work. And I need more of these outposts. This is gonna be an outpost builder. in the stupid house. Do I own Civ 6? Uh, yes, I do. And I've played it quite a bit. actually my my main objectives okay just destroy young young ching young ching young king whatever or something more later okay we're almost maxed out now heart of stone don't know that it might be running out of um and you see here, we'll make more pastures. And what? Can I? Oh, the girl. So hard to actually set a rally point that's like right underneath the TC because it just close onto the TC. Oh, Hearthstone. Yeah, yeah, I know Hearthstone. I played Hearthstone quite a bit as well. And we could maybe take some wars on the ground. I don't really care. Got enough resources. Also get so much resources when destroying all these buildings. Yanchong fell to the Mongols, and nothing now stood between Genghis Khan and the Great Wall. It was time to face the Chin head on at the Great Mountain Pass at Juyong. Yeah, I actually played uh, half even during the beta. Also, not like right, or not right at the start of the beta, but a little bit later. Yeah. There's really no, no difference between beta and, and launch, which is like a soft launch, basically. Where it's just like with uh, with Dota 2, it's like at some point they just declared, okay, now the game is, is released, <laughs> but nothing really changes. Okay, so we need to take out these three cities, I guess. Oh. Opponents attacking me. Oh, there's actually a lot of attackers. Probably space them out a little bit more. Um, 
Yeah, we'll just keep attacking here. Let's do his um, rallies to defend. He's a bit ridiculous. Um, maybe send some of them from here. Over there. Let me sheep. Yeah, for quite a bit, my heart was sort of like the main game I played. My name is Henry, just like on YouTube. Okay. Good for you. Um, so we can take these villages, but I think that's an optimal objective, which I think we're not going to do. And accept that we're going to lose a little bit here and there. And we need to sacrifice a few villages. We can actually produce stuff. Oh, okay, these guys. Yeah, like, like has a bunch of these guys. Oh, being attacked here. I'm not sure why I'm even making these um, spearmen here. Maybe just, just pure archer here because they don't really seem to have any anything in the way of uh, of um, cavalry. Have I played uh, uh, hots? Uh, I think by hots you mean um, here of the stone. And yes, I have. Only like a little bit though. Not very much. Okay, he's got some palace guards, so that's all the man at arms, basically. And so these are hard to take out with the archers because they I only do one damage per, per hit there right, against them. Um I think I just need some horsemen. Make some horsemen. Right, let's go over there and make horsemen. And also, actually, just like, oh, we're losing so many units. Okay, we, first, we make units and then we move our buildings. Oh. Okay, we retreat a bit here. Take some of these guys out. Yeah, I mean, I've also basically abandoned huts at this point. I mean, I'm sure it's, it's a nice casual game, but I already, I already know how to play Dota. So, the fact that Dota is hard to get into, for me, it doesn't really present, present an obstacle. Okay, um... Maybe we just... Maybe just leave these buildings here to... to produce... Um, reinforcements in case we get attacked and 
also make few outposts here we're just gonna fortify and we're gonna need like a lot of units to actually bridge those gates also gonna need some siege so we'll make a few rams one two three four five six maybe and ah, it's so annoying that the stables have a different hotkey here because Mongols is the only safe way you have horsemen in Dark Age. Oh, I can make lances? Oh, never mind, I, I can't like, make lances because it's obviously because of the challenge, but I could actually make lances here in a normal game. Also not allowed to make Mangudai here because they cost gold here. I'm just gonna make horsemen. Um, can we make um, rams in this mission with archers? I have no idea how you, no, you can't make it. It's kind of weird. I mean, in some missions it works and some it doesn't. Also, this is annoying. If I press here Q, it only only makes the arrow slits uh, for one for one of them. Not even tab or anything like that. I have to manually select each of them. That sucks. 25 idle, you can die. Got plenty of resources for this mission. Okay, um. Drops in front. What podcast do I frequent? I listen to like a bunch of libertarian or libertarian adjacent podcasts. Like, um, like. Um, would show uh, part of the problem. Um, you're welcome. Unregistered podcast with uh, Thaddeus Russell. Things like that. Also, some like uh, history podcasts. All right, let's make a bunch of horsemen. Good. I'm gonna do at least a little bit of damage. There. And everything is like covered in the fog, which is annoying. Okay. Bit of congestion there. Good. Arrow slits everywhere. And I think it's safe to leave this. Mm. Right, we'll pack everything up. Oh, that's coming here. Read here. It's hard to see which one we already have, Earth's List and which one is don't. Okay. Okay, we breach the walls. Those down properly. And then these I'll put here. The 
warriors of the grassland stormed the Great Wall. The formidable barricade, thought insurmountable, finally bent to the will of Genghis Khan. Stupid palace guards. They just like don't die at all. What? Why is it? Why is it? Why is my control group messed up now? Why is this rest in, no longer in the control group? The rogue experience. Yeah, I've uh, listened to that one um, as well. But like since he switched to Spotify, I've, I've uh, very rarely listened. And I would have to like uh, specifically seek seek out a specific episode. I don't do often. Okay, so this is fairly secure. Now we need to take out the. Um, where's my spearman? No, no. Oh, that gets like a few more clattering rams. And we'll just max it out again. Okay, so many idols. Oh, it's because the all the sheep are over there. Okay. At some point, the sheep just stop spawning. Um, we will probably everything over there. Okay, time to attack. Got this uh, keep. I think that's the main objective. And there we are. The great keep at Juyong Pass burned to the ground, giving the Mongols a Genghis Khan had successfully breached the Great Wall of China. China. On to China. Donggu was a shining beacon of trade, healing, and technology. To take the great city for himself, Genghis Khan would employ a slow but reliable strategy. Starvation. Hey, let's starve some Chinese. Okay, what is this mission? Khan directed his warriors to raid Qin buildings and villages surrounding Chengdu. Word of the army's wealth would spread, compelling Mongol soldiers from the north to join the fight, seeking spoils of their own. Okay, let's chase these guys down. 
Am I a human supremacist? Uh, yes. Two is on one. Not sure exactly faster in this mission, but it feels like it. Hiding here too much. Do you believe in interspecies marriage? No. Or inanimate marriage? No. I mean, if if you want to, I. It's, it's not that I have a moral objections against that. I just think it's silly. But you know, if you want to marry a bridge, go ahead. Like if you want to say, let's say, let's put it like this: if if you want to consider yourself to be married to a bridge, uh, I don't care. Go right ahead. But Mongol settlers and soldiers arrived to join his Obviously army. silly. With his numbers steadily growing, the Khan turned his attention to the capital. He sought to starve Chengdu's army by cutting off its suppliers. Yeah, we've got a town center. Where do we put that? It's probably see here is a good place. Maybe here. There as well. Let's use a girl for that. I was actually probably this. This is best. Okay, we need to gather more followers. What range does this thing have? It's incredible. And um, we'll get the deer stones right away. Oh, I have no food now. There's just more raiding, apparently. There are many animals more intelligent than humans. Uh, I don't think so. I guess there's some instances where, like, some specific, like, uh, like some specific humans are stupider than some specific animals like people with like i don't like even 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 someone who has like let's say down syndrome uh is probably still far smarter than like a, like a chimp But like obviously if someone is in a coma for example well, okay they they don't have any sort of intelligence okay fine but any sort of healthy human is going to be much smarter than any any other animal Yeah 
Um, any stone anywhere here? Oh, it has some stone here. It's pretty far away though. Oh, there's stone over there. Okay. Across the river. Okay. Are you marrying someone who's uh who's in a coma from which they're not gonna wake up? It's also kind of silly. It's really ignorant. How so? Oh, well, you can guys the five here. I think you have to return. That's not gonna be enough arrows to deal with all these guys. I can't target fire either here. A Chin trader made it safely into the city and reported on the Mongols' numbers and movements. Chongdu would now allocate any military supplies it received. To rallying counterattacks on the step invaders. Okay, you can get some of these guys back to work. Okay. Um I think we need to take this thing out so we can maybe put up our girl there. I think I just want to get like a lot of horsemen here. Really, you're gonna attack me with that scout? Come on, don't be silly. Oh, more attacks here. Yay! How many attacks here? Can we lure these over the bridge? Yes, we can, apparently. Just because uh, it's unlikely that two people are gay and happen to marry doesn't make it silly. No, but then gay marriage seems to make uh, sense to me. Oop, the scouts here. Oh my god, this scout is being so annoying. <laughs> I'm playing multiplayer here. I guess that gets a really stupid opponent. Ah, this mess messing me up with the other different hotkeys. Okay, and these stones can go down here. Can we cut off these traders like this? Go here. Um, we probably need some outposts as well, just for our defense. 
if we can focus on attacking. We have no stone. We make an Uwu over here. Maybe. What are these guys doing? Come on. Why are they trying to harass us like that? I don't get it. Ah, oh, these lances. So much armor. Oh, yeah, this is an early horseman. I need to, uh, the real horseman upgrade. No gold. How do I have no gold? I don't get gold for, for destroying stuff. Put down the Chin counterattack, but another would soon come if Chin traders continue to resupply Chengdu's military. Uh, okay, we'll try to take up this village now. I actually need this um, upgrade. I will only get the upgrade first. This. Um, we actually will get the. I'll just get the regular version first. Want a bit more gold though. Okay, more guys. These can go here. Actually, they can go here. And then I need... I think there's some deer here, right? Um... Some pastures. It's also some boar. That's very fast bags. Let's kill this boar, and then we can hunt there. These things are dying. Uh, regular. That's only. Oh no, I have enough for the. Um, we can even get this one now. Almost. Oh, and it needs to be next to the Uber. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, now. We just get, get over the bridge here. And we can maybe just leave these guys at home. Make a few of these. For the stable.
Ooh, so some nice units. Okay, now we can finally take out some of these traders here. What I'm doing, ask a human supremacist, so uh, what? I mean, the answer is biased by the fact that I'm a human. I don't know, if I were an otter, I would find otters to be sexy, I guess. The Mongols were systematically but I'm not. Choking the city and starving its garrison. And so I don't think it's a good idea to get married to an otter. What are these guys doing here? What? Also goes and hunting. Um, some wood. Don't think we need another TC here in this mission. Keep getting lots of villagers anyway. Well, I said that if I were an otter, I would probably find other otters sexy. Mm -hmm. But I'm not. So I don't. Yeah, the thing is, like, what is the point of marrying an otter? Like, otters don't understand marriage. But that's where the gay marriage example falls down. Like, you can have an otter as a pet, I guess. Fine. But what, is, what would it even mean to be married to an otter? Not a concept that others understand. Actually, we can just do this. We can take these out here with these units. Nearby. We haven't taken this out either yet. So we're waiting for the for the upgrade to come in. Sit on these in these roads for now. We're gonna be close to max now. Um, blacksmith, we'll put it here. He's, you're claiming that otters understand marriage? Or what is that yes, yes they do referring to? We just were here so at some point here. Where are they? Okay. I'll just make make mostly make uh, um, horsemen just for the mobility, and also more supply efficient than the other trash units. And the romantic relationships? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, they are um, animals that, uh, that that stay with one mate for the entire life or for an extended period of time. 
I guess you would call that love, but romance? I don't think so. Alright, military supplies here. Um, I think I'll make some archery ranges. Oh, we can just take out this thing. Maybe I have a few units here. Try to draw them out first. We can. But we can't. And why did one dolphin drown themselves when the person they love died? I don't know, uh, dolphin version of Romeo and Juliet? Uh, not familiar with that story. But it doesn't mean that the relationship between between uh, this dolphin and this human were was in any way romantic i guess you can, you can call it a kind of love but it's not the same as romantic love this out like we don't even need uh, workers here because we get so much from, from plundering the market at Tongzhou was set aflame and with it many vital supplies intended for the city in destroying the supplying markets the Mongols denied Chengdu critical supplies, leaving its garrison weakened. Uh, let's make a bunch of outposts here. As the Mongols continued to sabotage the city's supplies, Chengdu's garrison grew weaker by the day. Okay, next we'll take out this thing. Okay, I can kill some of these. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, let's take out this last this market there is like like two more, okay. Yeah, click this thing maybe holy shit. God, can't click things in this game. What does romantic mean? Uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to define. It's one of those I load when I see it things. How do you define romantic? Uh, 
I don't know. The Mongols left the Shunyi market in ruins, ensuring the village could no longer send supplies to Chengdu. Oh, well, actually, this Uber is actually used up. Didn't it make sense to make all these stables here. Um, where's more stone? Make it over here. I'm losing a few horsemen moving on, it doesn't matter because you have so many resources anyway. Yeah. I mean, this is gonna die, but that's fine. Why is this time? I'm just gonna group this together with the arches here. Um, I guess we'll use these. Oh, got a bunch of things there. I forgot about those. Come down here. Need to get yourself a mare. <laughs> okay. Is there a worker that's somewhere here in here? Okay, just this one. Attack it both places at once. Let's try that. Um, send the uh, forward as well. How do I actually get to this thing? Okay, down here. Falcons. Got a few of these guys. Hopefully they drop with their gold. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Right, let's take this out first. put their torches to the market at Darsing, snuffing out weeks of Chongdu's supplies. Is it true there was a Roman emperor who married a horse? No. But, um, Ligula apparently made uh, his um, favorite horse a, a senator. And only a diminished garrison remained. Desperate and isolated, he married uh, the horse. The time had come for Genghis Khan to launch his assault on the city. Oh, we haven't taken this one out. We can take this one out as well. Okay, then we need to assault the city. So the academy, the spirit way, and the palace. Okay, why not? Let's 
this one as well. Why did where did his horsemen go in? Yeah, they're chasing you. How is that gonna work out for you? Not well. If the horse the Pope now, this is before um before um, Rome was Christianized. Yeah, Caligula. Well, that was not like his real name, but that's like the name is known as. Caligula basically means uh, little boot. As, uh, as as a boy, he he um, accompanied his uh, his father, who was emperor before him, on campaign. And so the soldiers sort of gave him uh, this nickname as a boy. Okay, um, let's see if you can assault this. Maybe we need to make some rams, not sure. Maybe you can just prevail, prevail through sheer numbers. Probably attack from one side. Um, doesn't really matter though. Oh, there's even more, more buildings to be sacked there. Already have. He's queued up. Apparently, he was assassinated before his horse obtained any government position. Okay. Possibly. Yeah, so normally in the game you can't actually attack uh, stone towers or stone like um, stone gates or um, stone walls with regular buildings, with regular troops, but in the campaign you can. Genghis Khan unleashed the wrath of his Mongol warriors on the heart of the beleaguered city. What do you think about men, men marrying the mentally handicapped like people with PTSD? Oh no, post traumatic what post traumatic Down syndrome? What's that's not a thing? You mean uh, post traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, or you mean Down syndrome? Those are two completely different things. Down syndrome is, uh, is genetic. Alright, uh, this is slowly burning down. Fine. I need to take out this one and this one. And I mean, like marrying someone with uh, with Down syndrome is kind of like marrying a child. Like, at least sort of mentally, they are fairly similar.
Okay, we're not gonna attack this. Okay. We're gonna take this now. Okay, this is already on fire. And now it's sacked Zhongdu. Zhongdu fell to the wrath of Genghis Khan's warriors, yielding great riches for the Mongol Empire. The sacking of Zhongdu would be remembered as one of Genghis Khan's most devastating victories. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't have any strong opinions about his quest to create a global empire about that subject. On June the first, twelve fifteen, the city. Okay, now we're sieging Kiev. No sparkling water. I uh, had some some coke. And now the glass is empty. So now we have some sparkling water. It's not really sparkling anymore though. Most of the C2 is gone here. Alright. Now we've got this mission. This is mission I was actually struggling a bit when I was playing it the first time. Um, okay, how do we organize this? Yeah, the thing though is life is fatal. You're gonna die of something sooner or later. Why are these units? <laughs> units are so stupid in this game. <laughs> units are so stubborn in this game. It's incredible. Okay, can I also have this huge range? Yeah, kind of does. Why is not firing anymore? Didn't I tell him to attack? No weird. Oh, let's not die here. Now we're gonna get some reinforcements. Monka Khan called on his people to bring in their mobile camp while his forces secured a location for it. The immediate area beyond Kiev's main gate 
was lightly populated but rich in resources. All right, let's Beyond go. Lay three fortified districts: the outer city, the inner city, and a wealthy trade district. The Khan was determined to punish the defiance of Kiev and would not relent until the entire city fell to ash. Oh, there's a lot of units here. On center goes here. The Mongols unpack their camp. Dear Stone. Can go here. Make a stable. A girl. With some wood. On the side. Okay, and right. We'll do this first. Um, I think I'll make. I think we want to make a lot of. I don't think mobility is too important here. So I'm gonna rely on Beerman and and archers. And claim the resources for themselves. Always with the flavor, drink is not worth reducing your life so on. Then, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it doesn't have, it has no sugar, it's like uh, Coke Zero. Um, pastures. Um, and all of this as well. There's so much food in these guys. You can actually find some over here. Oh, and you can rally here. Um, yeah, barracks. Let's make some hard spearmen. Also want some archery ranges. Hello. There we go. Okay. Need to be careful here, don't want to engage those right away. Mm. Awesome hunting back there, which we can take in a bit. Probably want to TC somewhere here. And uh, we also need to go up. What do we go up with? Um, don't need that one. Go up with a cruel type. Which we'll make here. Um, 
What is good against uh, horse archers? Um, the, uh, which uh, which horse? Do you mean like the Rus horse archers? So we can make. Um, uh, you can just use, use regular archers. Especially now that they were nerfed a bit. Um, regular archers work quite quite fine against them. You can also use mangonels. And like horsemen don't do too, too badly against them either. I'm actually low on food now. How much does the DC cost here in this thing? 900. Okay, let's start shooting those towers. Ah, we can just put these in on the Grogu too. These things are good. Each one is so stupid in this game. Okay, bring a check here. See the wait, that's excellent spot where to see. Just need a little bit of gold. The spring also is that they don't do that much damage anymore against uh, against horse archers and horse archers actually also kill them quite fast because spring also you have like eight um his armor so and you know horse archers have so much uh, damage per hit they can punch through that armor quite effectively Also make um, a tower there. Oop, don't die, Mr. Khan. Oh, we can also make. Um... Why is this? Oh my God, he's working from here. Um, make an arsenal here. We kind of just fit. Arsenal doesn't fit. What? Stupid deer carcass there. Um, just sit over here. Okay. We'll get this upgrade, we'll get this and this upgrade. Oh, it's actually kind of unpleasant. It is there. More production.
Oh, I lost uh, my original knives. Ready? I agree that I'm too honorable of a player. No. Concept of offensive GG is kind of dumb. What do you mean by that? I mean, offensive GG is definitely rude. Like you don't, you don't get to decide for the other player when he wants to give up. Or you have your regular rating technology. I can say it's mental, mental warfare, but another way of saying it is like being a dick. Um, hmm. What do I have? Oh, I have a few more. Good, like, and more workers, and we're good. Yeah, I wouldn't want to use our strategies, but that, that, that doesn't mean that I'm too honorable. It means I'm a decent person. Oh, I mean, I attacked here. How are you backstabbing here?
And these are like the real spring holes with 75 damage. And I mess around. Oh, I'm losing my blacksmith. Ah, not quite. I need a new um, Uwu anyway. That's gonna look very similar to uh, pack up buildings. No balance changes, changes don't change the campaigns. But the campaign is actually like an like an even older version of the game than the release version. For example, it means that uh, um, we actually get to use like early uh, knights here in this campaign. Though in the release version, Mongols no longer have early knights. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I think it's actually a good thing that uh, they keep their campaigns the same. Um, but I don't think it's a good thing that it's, uh, it's a pre-release version. And it should, should at least uh, be parody with the uh, multiplayer environment in, in the release version. Even if it changes later. Oh, idols? We have 12 idols. Um, okay, I need more on food. Okay, these are idle now. Okay, okay, that makes sense. What are these firing at? Okay. Makes sense. Rescue our leader. Okay, these raids are not defeated. Actually, no, there's no still, still guys here. Um, got new Uwu. Actually, low on resources. Okay. Uh, let's be a bit careful here against the spring holes. Just we just don't want to lose our trebuchets because we can't make new ones. Again, being a good tank. Oh, I lost the uh, trebuchet there. Eh? Much for not losing the trebuchets. Oh, they actually have no armor on these things in the campaign. It means you can take them out so easily. this now and what they just stop me <laughs> oh my god <laughs> then i tell them to make all the other pastures as well okay Okay. And 
think we need um what is it arsenal here still Blacksmith. You can just put it here. Oh. Okay, I want to take this. Why would you vote yes on legislation to pass such marriage in... Did you know that in California that animal marriage is legal? Okay. Did not know that. What does that mean, legally speaking, that, that uh, you can marry an animal? Have zero armor, it's kind of strange. Let's just snipe these before they kill our tramp. Last remaining tramp. I don't think Sulfilia should be illegal. Oh, I'm being attacked here. Oh, so many. Lost so much. Oh my god. I have so much um, resources now. Okay, I didn't realize buildings, never mind. That's why I have so many resources all of a sudden. Okay. So this is defenders. Level the trade district of Kiev. Putting an end to any supplies they could send to the main city. Okay, this upgrade I can get. Oh, is have two arsenals? Why do I have two arsenals? I think I could use a few more warriors. I didn't the guy didn't go down there. And this is weird. Okay, so we've taken this out. Now we can take out the outer in the city.
Take a few of these guys, make a few watchtowers. Why does my F2 hot not work? Supposed to select all the economic buildings. Sheepies. I'll also be trading the straight post, we don't really need gold though. What is this inefficient chopping here? Alright, we'll make a few more buildings. Pretty big army. Um, we'll take a few villages here and accompany this round. Make sure it's repaired. I have so much range now. Being raided here. Oh my God. What range does this guy guys have now? Seven and a half. I miss him. A lot of range. I think I have enough wood for the rest of this mission. So we'll send these guys forward. Actually, need to make some rams. There's still more attack. Oh, there's some more guys there. Okay. We'll take them off with this. I might as well get priest axles here. Priest up. I don't remember this, this is a bit of an annoying part because there's so many like arches and such on walls. But with a big enough arch mass of my own, it should be fine. Taken care of. Maybe there's some more here. Oh, 
Okay, I think you're taking everything out back there. Be no more raids. So we can focus all our forces at the front. Make a few more of these guys. Maybe also some stables. All the structures need to be destroyed. We play some Mongolian throat singing folk music. Destroy all the buildings, so it might behoove me to make a few more rams. Upgrade. Do I have all the blacksmith upgrades? So much food as well. Some buildings in the other district, where there's more buildings, maybe there's some more over here. Okay, there are some buildings here. Charge my arsenals. Arsenals just do so much damage to the buildings. What is a Slate Star Codex? It's, or it was a blog written by Scott Alexander. And the, like the current version of, of that blog is now on, um, on Substack. Um, under the name Astral Codex 10. And do you see frequent it on your public social media accounts? Yeah, it's like a subreddit for the for that. Where I sometimes post. like a nice community with a lot of um the smart and um interesting people 
Oh, some of these are not built. Never mind, here's more builders. Okay. There's another building over there. Get out. I didn't even do, do prefer actually the older the older version where you had like different websites and not everything was centralized. You had like these blogs and such. And not you know, the blogs and like uh, forums and such. I don't have a chapter within Slay Star Codex. Obviously you're allowed to put posts on the on the subreddit. Got the don't have any upgrades here. Actually, kind of an oversight. Not quite the biggest oversight, but an oversight nonetheless. Oh, I even forgot I had this, uh, this ability. Um, speed out unit production and technology. That would be useful. allow me to boost my economy much faster like especially for villager production it's so strong this one is armor I don't need no armor okay that should be it As the last buildings collapsed, the Mongol victory was complete. Kiev had fallen. I'll be right back. Warriors ran freely through the ravaged city, cutting down any survivors and plundering its riches. With Kiev under Mongol control, the gateway to Europe was open and the Empire could continue its conquest into the West. All right, let's continue. Secure, the Mongols planned a coordinated drive deeper into Europe. 
Battle of Lignitz. Led by Genghis Khan's grandson, Baidar, the Mongols made their first of their dual attacks on Central Europe. Polish army scrambled to face them, arriving at the field in scattered groups. Um, I think this might be a hard mission. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a real problem of a mission because we can't really make a base and we can't really make any units except for like these regular old horsemen. Um, By raiding the enemy's farmland, the Mongols could plunder valuable resources. The Mongols had adopted gunpowder technology from their Chinese subjects and now brought with them the mighty nest of bees. This explosive projection we can actually make nest of bees. Target the enemy with a devastating they cost gold. Um, we'll get these upgrades. The, sky, the Mongols claimed the spoils from the wreckage. Um, Ooh, the range damage. I want this probably. We're gonna be burning this stuff down. You send them captions for your AV4 stream at least? No. Um, here's my cool time. You need to take this with me. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Can you actually attack her? Okay. That one wasn't too bad. Upgrades if possible. Also, want this, um, we can buy some food and we we'll spend the gold anyway. Right, let's get this in the meantime. Last production. Oh, I'm losing so many of my mango dye. It's not good. You can see those behind me. I mean, the bees are still safe, though. Oh my god. Ah, no, 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 no. This is not good. This is not good at all. Yeah, this is not good. I think I was certainly going to have to restart that mission. This is actually really hard. The Mongol 
Poles defeated the Polish detachment and continued their unrelenting drive. We're gonna need some more gold here. And more resources in general. Really gold. Oh, I want the engine wants to stay at home. If we can take out some more buildings. Um, I'm setting up for this. Are we actually, are we actually, do we still get the same? Let's look at the same races for just a going on a farm. It's kind of crazy. Make sure we keep producing. It's healing is so slow. I do not even have girls. Not many villages. Actually, you don't even need that upgrade. That's actually kind of not that very important upgrade because you're gonna have. We have mostly horsemen anyway. Not that many mango die left. Okay, let's move out a little bit. See if there's some more buildings to destroy there. There we go. Add some nice resources. Okay. Bit of a problem that we can't make more stables. Oh, we see some more stuff here. Okay, it's not going to stop me for long. Really care about the villagers. Um, the extra melee ammo, why not? Pick through here. Also, like an um, attachment you can see that's kind of far away from the rest, I think. Well, it's elite knights, though. That's going to be somewhat problematic. Of seven armor. I'm not sure. Takes a little damage. 
don't think I'm actually winning this. The army from Bohemia was drawing ever closer. The Mongols were running out of time to defeat the Polish army and neutralize the threat from Bohemia. Okay, um... This was kind of terrible. I need to fight with my nest of bees here. Um, yeah, I was just so weak. Compared to knights. Oh my god, uh. Okay. Mission is unfortunately pretty hard. Um, any more upgrades we can get? Um, Alright, we get this one. Um, you know, something really massive. Oh, here's some more buildings we can take out. Okay, this is very doable. That's some nice resources. Okay, here come the other oh, no, horsemen. Okay, never mind. The knights. We consider doing any community driven streaming events. Like what? Okay, I've got some knights in here as well now. Bring in my... Problem with most of these community... Everything they need a certain audience, certain number of people, otherwise it doesn't really work. It's not too many knights. Are we being attacked here? Let's return then. We need to kind of hurry up a bit though. Oh. Okay, this is the, the, the night to be softened up earlier. The Mongols eliminated Poland's knights, dealing a critical blow to the European forces. Okay. Kill some of these spearmen with the nest of bees. Oh no, now they've got the uh, Landsknechte. Is that all these Landsknechte? Yeah. Why am I? Why am I stupid? Nestor P is not firing. Need to evacuate them. Um. 
a lot of units here. Oh my god, now I'm gonna lose this mission, I think. to restart make sure that you have constant horseman production and you to respect the knights you get hundreds and thousands of views per video um yeah but views per video and like people showing up to a live stream are a bit different things Also a question of um, like let, let's say plays uh, like Dota team games. The problem is always that there's going to be like a huge disparity in MMR. So kind of tends to lead to bad games. Okay. Now I need to make sure that the scattered Polish army we have constant production. I need to move it faster here. Um, and blacksmith, we'll get one upgrade here. Allowed them to target the enemy with a devastating barrage of rockets. By raiding the enemy's farmland, the Mongols could plunder valuable resources. Do we get this in this thing? I think we do. We don't actually. I think we'll just As go ahead and, and smoke, invest our sky. stone into these upgrades. The the That's selling a bit of um, stuff as well. Oh, let's make sure that we're almost producing. Oh, uh, what is happening there? Let me just make sure that I keep my mango dad alive as much as possible. Horseman on my no, that's the beast. Don't die. Okay, I'm gonna restart again. I, I wouldn't need those best to bees. Um, this is a really hard mission. If the Mongols acted quickly, they could defeat the scattered Polish army. Okay, let's go move over here. By raiding the enemy's farmland. Okay, get this upgrade, and this upgrade wants to have a bit of gold. We want this. It might actually be worthwhile. Pretty cheap as well. Because, like, gold doesn't matter too much. Although, I mean, I don't think I actually want it. I don't think I actually want it. Because it's not that cheap.
Yeah, I think it makes more sense to wait until I'm having a bit of a, a bigger audience before I start doing these kinds of community games and such. Um, we have enough for this. We'll get this one on anyway. We'll get this upgrade in the meantime. Oh, not this one. All right, let's get this one. Um, we should also that's carrying around our cruel tie. These come. This is gonna gonna come in here soon. We have enough for this. Not quite. Now we do. There are more buildings there. I don't know. Actually, a lot of units here nearby. And then selling and buying because these prices regenerate they go back to like the default over time we don't want to sell too much at the same time oh my god there was so much damage oh that's so many units oh this is not a good fight I ain't committed to it. I'm going to bring my call tie with me. And reinforcements. Ah, it actually wasn't too bad. Do I hate and demand us? No. Not a big fan of the item in the current meta though. My doesn't say anything is pretty terrible. There's so many uh, good items that can like, make a big impact. In gen early on. Upgrade, why not? Oh my god, now nah, we're losing here again. There's so many reinforcements there. Need to rescue my. Just to these. These elite knights are so strong! Okay, my Nesta Beast are still alive. But my Venus box the dead. The Mongols eliminated Poland's knights, dealing a critical. We've taken out a lot of guys here. Also lost a huge amount. 73 more units to defeat. If we need to do some raiding. Replenish our coffers. What? We get and have upgrades this one. Why not? With the peeling on the fly.
keep making horsemen. It would be so nice if we could actually make more stables. But you can't in this mission. Okay, remember this one last time. More juicy targets to raid there. is done somewhere and we go after the mill is dead Oh my god, that just stops trying to blunt itself down, okay? you would be interested in Daniel Shaver case, uh, I guess. Thoughts on Antonal Floyd's? I mean... Seems pretty clear that... Uh, um, that the... Why are my units not attacking? Oh it seems pretty clear that... Um, uh, this sort of choke call thing was pretty unnecessary and like uh, excessive, especially for for this long. Um, so I'm not unhappy with the with the verdict in that case. Oh, that's too many units. Uh, Quite a bit here. As the battle raged in the fields, the army from Bohemia was drawing ever closer. He's a elite knight as well. Need to run away here. Oh, I've got more reinforcements. I still need to run away. These elite knights are so tough to deal with because they're horsemen. We need knights of your own. Maybe Mango died to kite them. I just don't have enough. Holy shit. Now this is actually very useful. Okay. Um, yeah, it already said this is going to be a very hard mission. Probably going to be a few more restarts before we get this right. I think it can be done. I guess I just need to like keep more of a mango die alive. And I kite kite more. Um can actually also start uh, double producing some horsemen. Oh, he's heal up as well. That's nice. Um, I have seven and a half minutes left, so we still have some time to do some raiding. Need to replenish our coffers a little bit. Um, 
Like the healing is nice, but it's very, very slow. Alright, we're gonna fight here, I think. Oh, don't do this. I'm officially out of resources. It seems like definitely doable. Love light stuff. Oh, we're getting flanked here. Uh, this is not good. Okay, but the knights are retreating. Okay, this is actually a really good fight for me. No, don't, don't go there. Oh my god. Ah, okay. Like, really, well, I got a very short leash range. Now need to take out these. Oh, they retreat. Okay, we're alive. Why are they not attacking properly? What is happening here? I would think about the argument that it was mostly the drugs, not the knee and the neck being the cause of death. Uh, possible. From the combination. Are there any more buildings here? This is all empty. Only have four minutes left, so I can't spend too much time looking here. Apparently there's like nothing in here. Really weird that they just put like a big part of the map where there's just like nothing. Seems like a bad map design. Do I still play Hearthstone? No, not really. Uh, I don't think we're gonna make it quite in time. We need to take down these farms. In the years since I really played the uh, Hearthstone, seriously, like, like um, a couple of months ago, like half a year ago or something, I I played like a little bit of uh, of it, but I don't have any real deck or anything like that. Okay, we'll stop the retard dance here.
Where's my tight? There we go. Okay, this is actually a pretty good engagement, I think. I'll need to Our resources properly there. Okay, I think we actually win. This is like a, some elite knights hidden somewhere. Okay. Oh, that was not easy. Despite being outnumbered by the European armies, the Mongols were victorious. As fire scorched the farmlands of Ooh, just like the fact that you Europe, face up against these knights and like knights just like out horsemen so hard. Especially these elite knights, some of them. It's just like an Imperial Age unit. While the Mongols in the north destroyed the Polish army, Batu Khan and General Subutai rampaged through the south. Oh, okay. Now we're jumping back in time, I think, again. Oh no, I think this is actually in after the, the previous one. During the Hungarian army to carefully chosen battle sites, Batu Khan and General Subutai prepared their warriors for another tactical fight. Okay, you scout the area across the bridge. General Subutai would soon arrive to join Batu, having escorted the Mongol camp to the battle site. While the Khan waited for his general, the Mongol vanguard would probe across the bridge to the north. That's 1241 uh, right there. Yes, I know. Oh my god, we're being ambushed. Oh my god. The Mongol soldiers found themselves heavily outnumbered and beat a hasty retreat away from the ambush. Beat a hasty retreat? This was not the first time Batu had been outnumbered. Drawing on past victories, he began to stage a coordinated attack. Oh. That's my ally, Bella Brunt, of the attack here. Arriving at the battle site, General Subutai We have a TC. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we will just make it here. Oh, can we can make it up here? Seems like a really good spot for a TC. Okay, you can go ahead and do some hunting. Um, we have a what is this? A girl, a girl in there as well. We actually have a lot of, of wood. Of wood. We make another PC. And we'll make some stables. Oh, yeah, this is well. Barracks. Oh, 
Can you heal up with the Khan. And um, well, we'll make an arsenal. We'll make a blacksmith. It looks like making some horsemen. Our allies also heat up there. That's quite good. That is quite a good thing. Then start making a few pastures as well. Okay. Get this one. And this one. Hmm, eat some bull. See if there's some more stuff nearby. Actually, I need to have my... We can kill this one as well. Oh! <laughs> The fact that they shoot automatically is a bit annoying sometimes. I want to kite it. Uh, that's fine. Okay, we'll make this, eat the other boar. And uh, what are my upgrades looking like? So we can get this one, we can get this one, this one as well. And this one, we have plenty of stone. Maybe a little overkill here. Heal up. Got along with a few more horsemen and such. Um, let's get this upgrade. And this one's also important. There's plenty of hunting here. The Mongols discovered a potential alternative river crossing. A broken bridge. So much boar here on this map. Okay, this is broken bridge. These upgrades um, ones are important. Wait for that to be finished. While Subutai rushed to ready his army, Batu was poised to make another attempt at taking the bridge. Okay, so we've got hunt for days. 
Lumber as well because I'm gonna need to make some more um, stables. Another production. No, I already asked this, so I don't expect much answer. But what are the issues you have with dating a transgender person or more accurately a crossdresser? Uh, as I mean. Uh, like dating and romantic relationships and so on are kind of uh, genitals are kind of important in that so uh, other things being equal I'd uh, rather date a quote-unquote real woman I don't think that's too unreasonable How many workers do we have? 45, we can make a few more. Um, is there more hunting over there? Yeah, there's more hunting over there. We can take these. Not sure if I'm going to make only a horseman. Um, for the moment, make a few archers as well. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade. So, intent to have children? Um, probably not, but I'm not sure. Okay, um, three more minutes to repair and attack. By then, I think we should be close to maxed out. Add in some archers. Okay, we'll get this upgrade and this upgrade and oh, we actually have no gold now. Oh, yes, upgrades. Okay. Not to worry, we can send these on gold. Um, 60 workers seems like a good idea. And here's a nice crossing. That we can use. Hmm, okay, we've all upgrades here, and then we'll take this upgrade for extra melee armor. Let's just attack right now. Or can we not? What? Why are they not auto attacking? Are these like neutral or something? I don't know. 
I don't know, I'm just gonna attack now. See what happens. There we go. Super Tai signaled to Batu that he was in position, and they began their coordinated strike on the bridge. Fun fact, Claude Debussy was a femboy. His first name and last name is Debussy. Okay. If you say so. The Mongols took the bridge and held the open space, forcing the Hungarians into the trees and splitting them into several groups. Now the Mongols could drive the Hungarians back to their camp. Oh, not this. One small space with no. Hello, can you pick up? Oh, I but you can't pick up when you're maxed out. Um, right, let's do this. And... and people over there. Lots of these sheep. Plenty of sheep here. Okay, I just need to uh, kill more Hungarian forces, apparently. I shouldn't have my knights in the same group here because I'm slowing down my lances. There's only three knights left anyway. Like I shouldn't have my lances, aka my knights, uh, together with the horsemen because they're slower than the horsemen. Okay, we kill these Hungarians. With the Hungarians pinned down, the Mongols kill these Hungarians. Destroy the last of their army. Yeah, let's get the armor. get this upgrade and I still don't need that um, and I find the sound design really I think that's like one of the best aspects of 84 I mean, Stark also has great sound design. Oh, not unit there. Flavor, okay. So exactly what you mean by that. 
We need some reinforcements. Oh, they're all fighting here. That's a nice conga line. Are they all gone from here? Okay, that's everything. Just attack move here. Let me mark with this. Much ammo do these have? Not that much, apparently. I guess I don't know, I have 12 attack here for the Imba um, double upgrades you can get in this, uh, in this campaign. Everything attack. For some reason, the frame rate is lower in these uh, these cutscenes. In a weird. Okay. The Song Fortress, eager in his quest to become Emperor of China, Kublai Khan sent his army to seize the richest cities of the Song Dynasty. Sitting either side of the Han River, the twin fortresses of Jianyang and Fanjing braced for a direct assault. Alright, let's take down the Song Fortress. Not actually take it down, but you see it. Although Kublai's ultimate target was the fortress of Chongyang, the Mongols would first have to control its sister city of Fancheng. have quite a bit six armor okay and these in as well the mongols cleared the bridge of its guards and continued their advance on Fancheng. Oh, there's some more one second raid. I think I remember this mission. This is the one where you have to like around the city and I can like find them three places.
Okay. We have everything here. Gotta run a bit here. I think there's more stuff done here. Okay, these are friendly. Is a pity. I would like to plunder them. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing there. Okay, some gold. Whatever resources. And the gold, not very much. Not very much indeed. He's back here, nothing. Another crossing on the river? Apparently. map is kind of empty and like why is it so big like, can you just make this map considerably smaller have less use this empty space like you look at the map design in like the like blizzard rts things like in like warcraft 3 or like starcraft or starcraft 2 basically nothing never really any like large part of the map that's like empty and pointless yeah there's like many of these areas which is kind of uh, a bit annoying just like slows down the gameplay you don't want to miss out on stuff you just have to explore everything but oftentimes you just end up being disappointed there Here's a crossing of the river. Is like, I think an approach to the city itself. I want to take. Okay, like screw this. I'm not gonna explore here any anymore. I'm just out there. I'm gonna cross here. He was there. Console message: No one hears you. Okay. It's also where open world games are terrible. No, I just need to have be, be like an, an open world game where there's like a lot of stuff in the world. Not one where it's mostly empty. So like, like um, Gothic 1 and 2 may do a pretty good job of that. The open world games, they don't have like a like a huge world, and like almost every corner has something interesting. But, you know, like, uh, 
Like some of these open world games where it's like you're just like an empty wilderness and like you're run for a long time and you're not really encountering anything. That's really bad. Yeah, probably probably gonna stream some Gothic 2 next Sunday. Like, why is this part of the map here? What's the point? Why not just block this up here? There's nothing here anyway. Okay, it's gonna go here. Let's just go here. These kind of missions, I, I wish there was like a way of like, speeding up the game speed. Make it like twice as fast as something while you're running. Wait, this is the way I go? Oh, there's like a self forest here? Oh, it's self forest, okay. Or is it? No, it's walled off somewhere, okay. Ah, I could rely on the... Okay. Yeah, anyway. Seeing an opportunity to overwhelm the enemy camp, the Mongols called in their reinforcements. Together, the two detachments would strike the camp from both sides, pincering the Oh, will they? Pincers. Actually hit the gates here. Oh my god. Ah. It talks in this game are so busted still. I removed a little bit, I removed a bit there, but it's just still not nearly good enough. I'm losing a lot of my melee units there. Oh my god, these springles. Intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay, let's take down these buildings, get some extra cash. I can also take out like this thing here. And then... Wait, it's not all taken out. Also part of the song camp. Maybe. 500 food, nice. Camp destroyed, the Mongols set in motion their plan to seize the Twin Cities. First, they would meet with an allied force at the gates of Fancheng. Okay, allied force. The gates of Fancheng, 
while the Mongol vanguard would defend the siege weapons firing upon the cities. Oh, there's some nice monks. Nice monk eyes. Love to be able to patrol in this uh, scenario to make it easy for monks to to heal, like you do in AV two. When did we start adding the word tactical before the word nuke? Um, I guess tactical nuke is just like a smaller nuke. I think one of my guesses is like a strategic nuke. <laughs> when the drone strikes are much more controlled than they historically have been though. That's true, yeah, I mean, but the drone strikes on drones don't carry nukes. Normally, a lot of monks, though. At least it's good that they, they uh, put like lots of monks here, so it doesn't take forever to heal up. I think they also have to upgrade for the faster healing. the gates the mongol vanguard moved to defend the siege weapons from song attacks defend the siege weapons from song attacks let's keep our units alive if possible If you write a stupid comment and and I get a stupid response, that's how it works. As the Mongols approach, the song burned the bridge to Shanyang, preventing a direct assault on the fortress. The assault on Fancheng was met with a barrage of gunfire, forcing the Allied army to retreat. All right, so can we start getting stuff? Okay, there we go. With the gates still unbroken and under guard, reinforcements arriving. The Mongols switched strategies and called on a large group of reinforcements to bring in their mobile camp. The Mongols would besiege the mighty twin cities. Let's besiege the mighty twin cities. And I'm gonna heal up a little bit at, at the monks. The Mongol strategy was to hold the city's bridges so that no Song forces could escape. And no it's so hard to separate the injured from the fully healed units in this game. It's almost impossible. I like, guess would be so much easier in like AV2, for example. Um, I can just take like, deselect things much more easily. Uh huh. There we are, Northern Bridgehead. 
Oh my god, he's being attacked here by a bunch of peasants. What? Why are you, where are you going? Going here. Okay, here and here. Yeah, I heard you, you're far too noble for that. Okay, market. We don't really care about that. Just for balancing our resources. Archery range, stable, barracks. So hard to actually get buildings to land down in this game. Like, holy shit, this is like worse than Warcraft 3. Got my buildings. There they are. I need a few more at the bottom. What do we have here? There we have like a balance of everything. Make like one more barracks down here. And buy a little bit of food. And what? What's the food though? Um, let's queue up everything here. Okay, so. Honestly, oh, that's a stupa. Holy shit! Is it like... Let me plant on my buildings! So stupid. Okay. Um... A lot of archers, and then we'll get. Um, well, they get this one, this one. We can the few here, and then we get the upgrade as well. Okay. Um, actually, we need to cancel a few more of these. Don't have that much stone. Got these. Um, we'll send a few here. We don't need that many though. Moving it here. Um, okay. Here, right, let's put these as the second bridge. One, the Mongols were one step closer, two, all the escape routes. Three, but buying some more food. Next out here, um, how do we best spread this out? And a few more down here. Okay. 
Um, okay, Western Bridge actually has a few to few. So it has 43, so we need 12 more. There's 9. The 3. I actually need that many in the Western Bridge, but you know, why not? All the upgrades. Uh, which issue that I have? Like, there's, there's lots of issues, and like, it's not that the devs are not aware of the issues, it's just they don't. Um, either they don't care, or they. Or they just. Uh, uh, um, focus on other stuff. I mean, there were like lots of, of bugs that were like reported already in like the in the, in the beta that still made it to the finished game. Um, okay, no, this is the northern bridgehead. Okay, we got plenty of units there. Is it gonna come here? I think we're gonna be, be ready. And two more here for safety. Two more there. Oh, I've got a bunch of units down there. Okay, that's why. I'm missing some units. So this is enough, and... Okay, this coming in, this should be more than enough. The Mongols took up position on the last bridgehead. Okay, um... attempting to block the city's escape routes. So we're going to be the most units there, so we send some some of these over here, actually. Maybe here, one, two, and This upgrade. I said you're too noble to to imitate people. The Song launched their counterattack on the Mongols holding the bridgeheads. The Mongols had to hold the three bridgeheads against the Song attacks. Need to sell a little bit of wood, buy some food. My vote doesn't matter, of course, but your, your vote doesn't matter. No, I didn't vote for Olaf Scholz. Need to be careful to stay off this bridge is because these um how is that pretty vicious oh, don't go there I think we can move so slow in this game. Oh, um, 
Can I attack him there? Why am I allies so useless? Are you supposed to protect your trebs? Are you not supposed to protect your own trebs? Maybe I'll actually send some reinforcements over there. Actually, need a lot more reinforcements there. God, we need a lot fewer there. Um, this is actually a bit of a problem, but we might actually lose here after reload. God, what are you doing? What even are you doing? Uh, okay. You're losing now? I don't know, I'm not sure. Bike do that run around? Isn't that closed off? Oh, they're trying to like they're trying to run like around here. Oh, I can just like. Why does it say it's regain control of the bridge right? since 13 seconds? Okay, not gonna make it. Ah. And you just need to have like way more units there. Okay, um... The Song Fortress, autosave... Load this. I said that democracy doesn't work in larger populations, I mean... I'm not saying it doesn't work, it just it works um, less well. I mean, I think that's like part of the reason why Liechtenstein is uh, such a successful country. Just like in general, if you look, if you look at, at least in, in Europe, all these like really small countries tend to be very rich. Okay, now I need to immediately re Oh, actually, no, no, never mind. A bit earlier here. Yeah, it turns out these traps are actually kind of uh, unimportant. I think in previous playthroughs they had that my allies had like way more units there. Oh ah Okay. It's not good. Uh oh. ah, that's, don't do this. Don't do this to me. I'm actually gonna lose the barracks now. Nah, that's that's really not like <laughs> I don't wanna Uh actually never mind. No. Not to this. Uh Okay. We heal up, not quite. I think we just need to invest way more into range units. <laughs> These guys are so dumb. <laughs> Don't do this to your own Age of Empires 4 Deluxe Edition. It's not Deluxe Edition. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
units for here units for here how many units is this this is um should be enough okay where are my buildings <laughs> hey i heard that uh, horsemen are supposed to be a counter to the archers Okay, here are my buildings. Make a table, archery range, barracks, and market. And you immediately start buying some food. All right, um, I think we just need to like be a bit farther back, right? That way, we can also properly park down our buildings. Okay, like a few horsemen. And then we make a whole bunch of archers. This upgrade, this upgrade, this upgrade. Lichtenstein support trans rights? I have no idea. Bridget and Southern Bridget needs more units. Securing the second bridgehead, the Mongols were one step closer to blocking off all the escape routes. enough there this is not quite enough some more here and all the upgrades here the mongols took up position on the last bridgehead seeing that the mongols were attempting to block the city's escape routes the song began planning a counterattack. Okay. Time for the counterattack. And a few more down here. Now we have like a much healthier force here. Make sure I don't go onto the bridge. Okay. Two and three. Keep buying some food. The Song launched their counterattack on the Mongols holding the bridgeheads. The Mongols had to hold the three bridgeheads against the Song attacks.
And let's get this upgrade as well. And oops, go here. A green vacation, I don't really know. Let's send these two guys on vacation into Monkland. Nope, don't care about that. I think Lichtenstein is really my, my dream vacation. Yeah. Much better if you, if you place the buildings further back there. More room to engage. Room to maneuver. I already have everything in blacksmith researched? Really? Okay, these guys need to go back. Alright. What's big attack coming in here? to Italy. I don't think I've been to Rome actually though. That would be fun though. Okay, we seem to lose control a bit down here. Send some mango dye and such here. And then terrain control. Oh my god, they're walking through here. My god. Um, Alright, let's send some of these guys here. Send them here, and then here. Yeah, these are pretty brutal. They kind of randomized where, where they... Send there, guys. Like where they send more guys. I feel like I had the same. Like about as many units there as I had last time, but I guess last time I had like uh, extra barracks there. Um, okay, we need to reinforce this actually. Um, let's drive it to the fog. Um, we're actually kind of low on armor guards. Yeah, now you have like way too many guys over here. In the western bridgehead.
But I think we're almost done with this mission. I'm sending some reinforcements down there. Okay, I think we're done now. Desperate to stop an all-out Mongol assault on their walls, the Song destroyed the remaining bridges to the Twin Cities. Unable to... Yay. I think there's like two more missions now. Also, I rumors of Indian culture having multi-gendered society, but in recent times they have been oppressed. Hijras. Have you heard of that? The Twin Cities did not yield. The Mongols would need a new tactic to breach the Great Song. Now we are playing the famous blockaded Lumenshan, which is actually a mission that's much easier than I at first supposed. Have to not wall off, and then it's fine. Like once you wall off, they start attacking with like much stronger stuff. If you don't wall off, as the game's as the game wants you to, and it keeps standing fairly weak. Attack waves. The general's plan depended on recruiting local workers who could build defenses. The first step was to eliminate the Song garrison okay. near the village of Lumen. Right, we'll just charge in here. While we're doing this. What is this scout doing? Get the scout. Oh, I've always got more units there. Iran also has a very large transgender um, population because they force gay men to transition. I believe they actually have the most like transgender people, quote unquote, in per capita. Not sure about that though. Definitely up there. So they don't accept uh, homosexuality, but uh, um, if you're actually a woman who's into uh, who's into men, that's fine. Holy shit! I can't actually click on this stupid pig. There we go. Uh, is anything more there? I don't think actually. Uh, it's 
Let's go. Let's not waste any more time. Okay, starts taking some boar meat with us, and in this mission, even though it kind of looks like we are the Mongols, we're actually playing as the Chinese. Let's take out this song base here. This mission you'd be making like lots of nesting bees and other siege stuff. But obviously that's that we can't make those, so we're just gonna be relying on them and, and uh, archers. Okay, let's buy a little bit of stone. So that we can Gave their support to um, and Kublai Khan. Oh, we actually 400. Forgetting about that. What? And equipment, including the construction of stone walls. Same game, okay. Um, the roads north, cutting off Shang Yang from the rest of the song. All right. Oh, I keep I forgot about the uh, ability here. Um, we're gonna make a university as well, and an arsenal. And everything's finished very quickly now. Um, yeah, let's make this one. Enough resources. Um, also want to have a bit of a market here. But to Iran, yes, Iran and Persia are the same thing. The people of Lumen reported that the village of Bohiko, located to the west, would also welcome Lu Zheng's arrival. If the general could get forces to Bohiko, it would add both an economic and military boost to his blockade. What are we doing here with these units? What? Go down here. Um, what a bunch of stone, actually. Want all the stone? Maybe buy a bit more stone. It's so expensive, though. Um. Okay. We'll make. Archers and stamina. That is the idea here. And Liu Xing, whatever this call is gonna help us with that. We also need a bit of wood. Um 
Maybe we can rally here. Uh, let's go rally down here. Okay, and like technically traders cost gold, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna count them. I'm gonna make traders. If I work on traders as like regular gold units, then some of those missions would be impossible. Or like would take like way too long. It'd be way too boring. I can get this up here as well. Okay. Okay, now we're also gonna make a heap. Do I enjoy roguelikes? Uh, I haven't played very many of them. Not really something I usually play. Hold on one more wave here and then we will we'll go over to the other town. That is. I guess we can make a mill here. Actually, no, it's, uh, it's... We actually, let's make a... Make a TC here. Next to the boards. Actually, more convenient. Okay. Now we ride over here to Boheku. Right, my economy is nicely built up. Um, let's get these emplacements in place as well. Oh, I'll just get a cannon. Extra building HP might be nice as well. Not high priority upgrade though. Okay, this is finished. Um, here's more stone. This is properly said, uh, Eroticas Alucine. No, no, these are both. These would both be wrong. Um, there's too many TCs, probably. Do I care? Nope. So it's like overbuild a little bit here. Yeah, I want a heap here as well. And can we boost both of these? 
that's a very fast keep. And now we pretty much just wait a bit. Fill up our economy. We can make is that granary? Yeah, we'll make a granary here. Phallus or um, uh, Pallus is uh, is masculine. Um, not sure if it's first uh, declension or it's uh, or whether it's whether it's fourth declension. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but I think it would just be first, uh, not not first, but second declension. Like uh, old declension. Um, but I don't know what erotic is probably also some in some way. Uh, it's also a Latin word, I think. When he said Latin origin, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. I really don't. Really not that familiar with that. With, uh, like I, I'm not really. So I don't really speak like fluent Latin or anything. Like that. I just like know a little bit. Um, how many workers do we have? Can we make a few more? Might make a few more. Ought to make a few more. I believe Phallus is, is from Greek originally. So the Latin word for penis is surprisingly penis or penis as they would have pronounced it roughly speaking. Um make more these, more these. 26 idols? How do we have so many idols? Okay, these are all idle here. We will just remove these things. And we're gonna set up some nice farming here. Where's my farm? Oh, granary is, is the one I want. Um, and we make another granary. Not sure exactly what you, what you're even trying to say there.
Um, okay, let's get this. All the upgrades and so get him on a hunt there. Okay, it's where's my leader? Go here. Um, replacement as well. All right, all the stone actually we have more stone here. We have access to this. Okay, that, that's like stealth for us, and we can go up here, right? Not sure even. Let's see if they make it there. All right. Um, keep the farming community here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Buildings get extra HP, why not? SE2 Wings of Liberty Pacifist Challenge. Okay, interesting. Um, I'm not jealous of him. Need some more production, some more production. Where do we place the production? I mean, it's like one of one of his videos, is like, like some of them are not that impressive. I mean, that's like that's okay. Like I, I played a lot of SC two. If I because I can do something doesn't mean that uh, it's not worth a video, it just means I don't particularly fancy watching. Okay, it's gonna be in seven and it's gonna be eight. Okay. Now have fun trying to get through there. Um, okay, they did actually make it up there. That is nice. Okay, and you can also go ahead and go and take that stone. No, it's not in inspired by giant grant uh, videos. He doesn't hold the patent on, on doing things like that. Mm, we want this. Yeah, might as well. And now I think it's time to start thinking about winning the game. Uh, 
by making some stone walls. Although I actually want like another... I want another... Keep here. For safety. Um, I think I would like, uh, I'd rather have some more units down there. To cancel that stuff. And we'll make... Actually, I probably also want some stable units. Once they come with siege, that's pretty useful to have. The dry mass recall. Don't know that game. Um, yeah, let's make start making stone walls here. And then we can win the game soon. Alright, so some more food over there, why not? And then we can just start deleting those villages. It served their purpose. Oh, you put lots and lots of way too much stuff into Discord. It would be like a full-time job keeping up with the Discord posting. Also, like a, a stack of one in the SA2 engine. Okay. You have played something like that. I'm not sure if it's, it's, if it's called... Um, Mass recall, but it's definitely uh, one of these mods where I played the like campaigns of um, like the StarCraft one campaigns in the StarCraft two engine. Lu Zheng's vision was complete. The Mongols' great blockade now cut off the Song cities. However, the Song commanders would not leave Shangyang to stand alone. We oh, can actually make um, one barrier. here as well. And we need to make a gate here. Any villages left here? No. Oh, they're right there. Doing this. Song forces descended on Lu Zheng's men. The general needed to defend what he. We only have two archery ranges there. Can't be right. All right, now the siege stuff comes. Because you now have had enough time to build up a proper economy. It's gonna be fine. It's so expensive on this uh, an outpost. Oh, let's do this. Okay. 
Oh my god, this man is just gonna be bad. Take this out. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, this is up, up there. I guess you can make some horsemen here. Actually producing. You can go ahead and die. Make a few arches here. Emplacement. This emplacement as well. And okay, we want a second. Keep there, I think. So we can go on here. I actually need more units here. Yeah. Okay, mm. I'll make a few stables here as well. Okay, um, uh, we'll make arch ranges here. Why is my supply so low? What? We have, uh, I made some lances accidentally. Uh, these are all horsemen now, okay. Okay, I mean, here I don't need as many units here. We cancel some of those. Yes, yeah, so we need the units. Uh, Losing a bit too much there. Reinforcement should be able to clear this up, but with these mangonels are kind of a problem. Can't really properly engage against them. A pretty big mass there. Trying to get a bit problematic. Oh, making a bunch of stuff here as well. Um, okay.
There's so many things here, wow. Actually, out of resources now. Need to get to these. That's the problem. Says this narrow choke point. My right, units are so bad in this choke point. I can't really get past the end. This mangonel. Need to take out the mangonel. These archers. Okay. Holy shit! It's actually just like regroup here. Ideas from behind. Fine. Um, okay, I have some idols. Other ones can get some more wood. Taking some of the damage here. Okay, this should be a decent fight. We need to move some villagers and make some production here. Okay, we're finally defeating this, and now we need another keep. Maybe like make a keep like here. Why is Rama dying? Come on. Actually, I don't have that many workers. Might make a few more, actually. But where did my, work my workers from up here go? He's dead. Okay, so another wave defeated. He is still alive. Okay, let's help build this. And um, I think I'm gonna buy some more stone. Buy a second one of these. And place it like here. We have like a little bit of more open floor plan here. Is the ramp still alive? Oh, it's already it? 
Oh, we're already done. Okay. Well, that was easy. What Ching Ding Ling? What? What are you talking about? So you want you want to become my son? Or to adopt you or something? By the loss of their supply route, the twin cities of Shangyang and Fengcheng were ready to fall. The Mongol unit? New long -range trebuchets Which Mongol unit? Mighty walls of the Song Fortress, and Kublai Khan would not stop. Well, you said your own son. Yeah, I don't know what that voice line was. So I think it's the last mission. Let's do it. Uh, the daughter version would be Jon Stochter. Okay. A siege expert would lead the Mongol army in the construction of the an immensely powerful counterweight trebuchet. This new trebuchet, once okay. could hurl boulders greater in size than any weapon before it. Mm, we'll make an extra TC. During the years long siege, what do we make it over there? Lucrative trade routes with Chinese market towns who swore loyalty to him. Although these trade partners were vulnerable to Song attacks, they could deliver valuable resources to fund Ismail's efforts. Okay, where is we have, have the white stupa? So what do we have here? How much units? Two, and these are only in three. I don't really care about these allied towns. We don't really need that much gold anyway. Um. Get these for now. They can just trade for gold when you, as we need it. There's the even some gold there. Network could supply Ismail in stone so long as he had enough traders on the road. So, where is that? Where was that gold? Up there. Uh, right. Barracks. Where's my... It's stable. We'll do this, we'll do this. Case are these spitting sound accentuation. Okay. Dochter. And it's um, spelled uh, D O double T, an I with an accent on it, and R. Okay. 
There we go. Um, we can put this on my outside. Okay, you guys are getting attacked. I don't care. Um. Yeah, something like that. Not this uh, double, double thing though. It's like the, like the French like Montague. Okay, we'll make some archery ranges. Because I like archers. Anything else we need here? I have no idea what a gog, uh, uh, accent to you is like one of the, it's like the accent that goes from like uh, bottom left to top right. Yeah, the one on the right most is, is the right one. I should have made like a third TC even. Like a third TC. I guess we'll do this. Yeah, that's the one. Um. Okay. Which ones do I want here? What's the most important ones? Actually, so many upgrades that I don't need. Like a second one here. Okay, and there's gonna be six, like a bunch of archers. I don't care about that. My allies can die, but as I can, as I'm concerned. Um. Okay. What is this cost? A thousand stone. We should moderate my stone um, usage here. Get um, we'll make a few pastures. Um, I need three more workers. And I also want more stables. Okay, this is fine. On this, and this, and this. Some pastures. What's my favorite animal? Uh, human beings. Um, what 
is this is this Okay. A few more workers. What we call it quits. Something other than human beings. Um, oh, I forgot that I'm Mongols. I can't buy stone. Maybe I do need some traders after all. Alright, we just need to save up stone now. actually personally interacted with um not humans um i guess i'll go with cats then like cats i mean do you want to defend them in all of maybe maybe like give them a little bit of assistance I feel like this one down here, the top can die. There's my traders. Um, yeah, I should have made some traders, honestly. So we'll just save up stone for a while now to get a thousand. This guy. Oh, I forgot the invisibility as well. Have him back at home, make the super siege weapon thingy. Okay, let's defend this a little bit. I should have just started out defending at least one of my allies. Probably the one at the top is more important. Honestly, it doesn't matter too much because like this neutral trading post anyway. Fog. Now they're gonna attack me here. Need to be ready for that. How much supply does this thing cost? Okay, just three. Oh, we need improved seed engineering. Okay. Oh, 
Mang was so strong in this game. It's actually a pretty ridiculous ability. It's like 45 second cooldown, good 2 second duration. I forgot you only have 3 in there. Some over here. Uh, okay. God, oh, Mangonels in this game. Okay. I mean, I don't care anymore. Just put everything here. Get too close here. Oh, this is too close. <laughs> it's actually dead, but it looks like it's just a uh, fully functional barracks. I mean, these guys can die now, that's fine. And I can finally start making the. No, this. Oh. What? Where? Oh, here's the Hui Pao thingy. The song burns the second market, cutting off all trade supplying the Mongols. That's fine. Um. Crossbowmen, you don't have many crossbowmen. Any gunpowder units. Okay, where's our leader? There it is. God. No, don't go there so close. Uh. Okay. We need uh, outpost as well. Okay. Not an idol. These guys are idle. That's fine. more production okay this is eventually gonna die but it's fine I got the gold 
Okay, where's the falcon thingy? It's also on him. The Mongols could mount their assault on the twin cities. As Ismail's trebuchet had a far greater range than those of the Song defenders, the Mongols could attack from a safe distance. Drawn to the bombardment from the trebuchet, the Song soldiers left gaps elsewhere in their defense, which the Mongols could exploit. Okay, this guy died now, this is fine. Anything up there, then it's like bleed wilderness. We just like escape to the wilderness. Or do they get like vision of us? Can't pack up the buildings because it's for supply. Right, where is any other trade post? I guess I uh well, this we can play with this one but this kind of sucks. We can just need the traders. Okay, we can repair the bridges now. We're okay with him. Okay, more attacks gonna come there soon. Probably will build a second on this wee power thingy. Okay, I need to counter this attack. There's another attack here coming as well. What are these mangoes doing? The Mongols could now rebuild the bridges that the Song had burned six years earlier. Okay. Some losses. Am I in villages live? Wait, where did they go? I don't know. Don't really care. Um, where is my leader? Oh, we're already full up again. Action fast here. Okay, we'll just get this. Bridge, we get the falcon again. And we'll just kill these guys from a distance. Oh, we attack from behind. Very sneaky. I'll make another Hui Pao. Oh, it's fire lances. With the bridge rebuilt, the doors to Fan Cheng were wide open. Okay. 
Like another wee pal. These things are pretty good. Can we? No, we can't build any villages. Get this. Can you just work? Okay, these villages. Okay, we start storming the city now. Okay, with these, talking again. I think we need more archers. This cost it's actually a really good upgrade. Um, where can we make another? Ooh, I'm up there, but it's a bit far away. Yeah, let's just storm the city. Cheng, striking down any song warriors in their yeah but oh, they're still firing at us and like this Attacked here. Um, yeah, as long as these hui powy thingies keep firing, you're doing well. Why is this barbecue not dead yet? Come on. This is going fine. Okay. Get back in there again. Did they keep missing the barbecue or something? No. Injured leader. We actually so much stone. Make another Hui power. In a bit. Okay, big attack coming in here. So we'll need some reinforcements here.
Okay, there's some more stuff over there as well. I guess take up the city first. Don't take the other one. We attacks everywhere. Okay, okay, we're actually being raided. Pow. There's our other leader. Let's go the spirit way. Doesn't actually. Can it still fire from this side? Really? Okay, we're losing a lot here actually. One of the problems with being Mongols is that you don't really, it's hard to make defensive structures. Don't really make any keeps or walls. Um, Rush run them, rush them with my villagers. Okay, never mind. Okay, this doesn't actually matter too much. We get enough resources to finish this mission. Just, you know, just to keep making three powers. So. A bit is very scruffy, okay. Oh, I have no vision. Come on, Mr. Falcon Man. We got Falcon. There we go. Although, one probably just take out these defenders here. Okay, we've got first city and now in the second city. The first of the twin cities finally fell to Kublai Khan's army. All that now stood between Lost most of our economy though. In the meantime, stronghold of the song, the city of Shenyang. This man has been injured. With Shangyang's gate undefended, the Mongols could now repair the connecting bridge to the Song stronghold. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna rescue my leader. Okay, we finally defend it here. The modern day nomad, someone living inside a camper van or some type of mobile home. I guess you could say that. What is happening here? That was attacking me there. I think. Or it's just the passage just spreading down. Yeah, I'm gonna just put a girl here. And take some of these sheep. Is there anything there? No, I don't think so. 
just spelling down. Okay, Mr. Falcon Man. Alright. Fire into the his master troops here. Let's take out these spring holes. Okay. With the city in disarray, the Mongols were free to tear down the Imperial Palace. Which noise? Okay, Imperial Palace is this thing. Okay. Mongol warriors flooded the streets of Shenyang as the Song defenders rose to make a desperate last stand. I think I don't need mangoes. It's actually the range on these things. 23.75 tiles. Not too shabby. Okay. Oh, things actually idle now. Alright, let's eat some sheep. Come on. Those guys. Ah, uh, so many units still. We could keep using these to take out their units. And soon I can just target this Imperial Palace from like a, from a big distance. Okay. It's as one. And would I have them cross the bridge first so they don't block everything. And oh, where's my Falcon Man? There he is. And then destroy the Imperial Palace. And you'll still have some resources to spare. Buy some food. Prophylactically. Thoughts on Futanari? I don't know what that is. My leader. Okay, I think that is it. Who? There were some missions in there that were a little bit tough. Shenyang, the great bastion of the Song Dynasty. But ultimately, no match for me. Kublai Khan had finished what his grandfather, Genghis Khan... Because the, the hardest one was, was that mission where we could only make horsemen at no, no villages. Um, that one we had to restart quite a few three times. But the rest was you know, mostly fine, but still challenging, many of the missions. So yeah, this was fun. So this concludes the, the whole series on... Um, 
um, playing the game without making gold units. Um, only exception being traders, like no no gold like combat units. Um, and yeah, uh, it is definitely possible, uh, as I've shown. Um, maybe we'll revisit this uh, series with like more more stringent restriction. Maybe like only horsemen or only uh, spearmen or something like that. Um, possibly doable. Um, but yeah. And yes, I'm gonna make a video on this. Um, haven't decided yet whether I want to do four videos, like one for each campaign or one for all the four campaigns. Um, but I'm definitely gonna do a video on that. We we're sort of looking at the highlights of this. Obviously, not. I will also upload the the whole thing as like an unlisted video if someone wants to, you know, watch me play the entire thing. Um, but yeah, that is the plan. Uh, so. Uh, thank you for watching. Next stream is going to be on uh, Wednesday when we will um, do the, uh, what's it called? Uh, we'll do the Wednesday Chance Day, of course. Play some more Dota 2. And, always willing, I'll see you then.